Hey what is going guys welcome back to another android app development tutorial in this video we are going to learn this little text animation as you can see in the toolbar area if you want to display some important messages or texts in your app like this then you can use text switcher although you can achieve the same thing using a simple text view but text switcher makes things easier for us because along with all the text features it can also handle some simple animations just like this one so guys without any further delay let's jump into the android studio and see how we can make it first and foremost we are gonna change this hello world text view to text switcher now set the layout width to match parent layout height wrap content now let's add two more attributes for animation enter and exit like in animation then pass at android anim slide in left now for the exit animation at android anim slide out right finally here we will assign an id hit tab Mm, text switcher now in our main activity.java class let's initialize this text switcher so i'm gonna copy this id now in this main activity class we'll create a text switcher object so text switcher text switcher now inside on create type text switcher equal to find viva id r dot id dot text switcher then here type text switcher dot set factory then pass new view switcher dot view factory this one hit tab perfect now you can see here we have a make view function so what will it do basically it will create our text view on which text switcher will apply in and out animations and it sets our text also so let's make some room and create a new text view variable so text view text view equal to new text view and here pass the context of this activity class main activity dot this now simply return this text view also we can add some text color or background color or even if we want to increase or decrease the default text size we can do so as well by calling set text size method like this text view dot set text size mm, let's say 26f because it requires float value now we will create a handler object that will help to repeat the animation and change the text at the same time so private handler handler equal to new handler inside on create now handler dot post delayed then new runnable and here pass zero and semicolon in the end now in this run method we will set our text so as you guys can see here i have already created a class called data source and this class has a method called get header data in which i have prepared a list of a string and then simply returning that list actually from here we're gonna get the data right so in our main activity create a list of a string type variable mm, let's name it header list then inside on create header list equal to mm, data source dot get header data now we can set a data in our text switcher so in this run method type text switcher dot set text then header list dot 
get here we need to pass an index value like 0 1 2 right so in order to maintain the index value I'm going to create a variable for that at the top right here private int current index let's also assign 0 as a default index value now here pass that variable current index now after setting the text we'll increment the current index value by 1 current index plus plus then soon after this line we will call handler dot post delayed then pass this means this runnable itself now add some delay let's say 3000 ms means 3 seconds all right so guys do you know why i have added this handler dot post delayed method again well basically here whenever this activity is launched this on create method will be called and this handlers run method will be executed immediately because here we are passing zero as a delay but inside this run method this handler dot post delayed will execute this runnable again and so this run method will be called again but after three seconds of delay and it will continue until we stop it manually because this handler dot post delayed is called inside its own run method which actually creates a recursive loop so the best practice is just override on destroy like this and type handler dot remove callbacks or remove callbacks and messages and pass null because we don't have any runnable variables instead we want to destroy all the runnables which have been run by this handler anyway guys here also we will do one more thing like we need to reset the current index value at a certain point because this is a clear recursive infinite loop but we have limited number of data right therefore whenever that current index reaches to its max value we will reset that to zero and we will point towards the first index simple so if current index greater than equal to header list dot size then current index equal to zero and that's it guys now i'm gonna build and run this code and see what we have see guys we have achieved the same thing right